All right, lean and quarantined. Day four, we're gonna do three minute succession complexes. We'll do two upper body movements, two lower body movements. Get ready, here we go. Body weight squats. Feet are about shoulder distance apart. Make sure when you go down that those knees don't go in front of the toes. We'll just maintain a nice, steady nice pace. Way. And at the 30 second mark, we're going to pulse in threes. We'll stay low. Now down for threes. Press. Two, three. Squeeze as you come up. Two, three. We're working the muscle. Endurance today. Low, two, three, another 15 seconds. And then we're going to go back to the singles next. Now back to the singles. Make sure you keep breathing, don't hold your breath. Asking a lot of your muscles from a, an endurance standpoint today. Some body weight squats. Halfway. 15 seconds. And then we're going to press down for seven counts. Now down for seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, squeeze coming up. Now you should start feeling those quads burning. Five, six, seven, again. Five, six, seven, one more time. Five, six, seven, now in threes. Down, two, three, squeeze. Again, take a look at those knees. Make sure they're not one in front of the toes. Squeeze coming up. Finish strong here. And now singles to finish it out. 30 seconds of singles. We'll give you one minute of rest and move to an upper body movement. Halfway. 15 seconds to go. Finish strong, now finish strong. Good, shake those legs out. One minute rest. Stand row. Nice hip hinge. As you come up, I want you to squeeze those shoulder blades. Now initiate the movement from your lats in the back, your back muscles and the rhomboids. And we're going to squeeze those shoulder blades together. As we progress, through this succession complex, you can change the resistance by stepping forward. Now we're going to pull in for three. So it's a pulse, 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 down. Squeeze those shoulder blades together, contracting those rhomboids and the lat muscles. Pull, two, three, squeeze. Now we're going to go back to the singles. Pull. Nice, consistent, steady pace. Head up, chest up as we pull. After the singles here, we're going to pull back 
for seven counts. Now seven pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Pull, two, three, four, five, six. One more time in seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now in three. Pull, two, three. Pull, two, three. Focus on the squeeze in the back. Finish, finish, finish. Good burn. Now 30 seconds of singles to finish. Good hip hinge, head up, chest up. Squeeze those shoulders down and back as you pull. Keep breathing. Pull. Pull. Let's do one more. Pull. Shake it out. Lunges, three minute succession complex. We're going to alternate right and left. Make sure that front knee does not extend in front of your toe. Opposite arm, opposite leg as you go forward. Now you can regress this movement by doing a back lunge. Take a little bit more pressure off that front knee. Now we're going to press down for three. One, two, three, up, other leg. Two, three. Just like we did with the squats. We'll go singles, threes, singles, seven, three, single. Back to the single, alternating right and left. You're going to start getting a good burn in those legs. Again, working muscular endurance today. Nice steady pace and find that rhythm, find that flow. All right, now we're going to go down for seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Feel that burn. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, now in threes. Two, three. You should feel it, you should feel it. Keep going. Halfway. Getting close now. After these threes, we're going to finish with the singles. Singles to finish. Alternate right and left. Those legs should be really feeling a little wobbly by now. A good challenge. All the way to the end. One more. 
There we go, way to finish it. Shake those legs out. All right, we're gonna do a nice little biceps burn. Now we're gonna start with a 90 degree bend with the elbows, both arms at the same time. You'll notice you're gonna be doing a lighter weight than normal because we're doing a three minute succession complex. So nice and steady, 30 seconds, 90 degree bend, Coming off of this one, we're going to start at the 90 degree angle and go from here to the shoulders. So 90 degrees and up. Squeeze those biceps at the top. 90 degrees up to the top. Coming off of this one, we're going to go full range of motion from the starting position at the bottom all the way to the top. We're going to start feeling those biceps burn. One more. Now, all the way down, all the way up. Full range of motion. Nice, tight midsection. Soft knees protecting the back. Halfway. All the way up, all the way down. At the next change, we're going to alternate right and left starting back at the bottom to the 90 degree angle, right here. 90 degree right, 90 degree left. Squeeze individual, side to side. Really flex those biceps. You can lean into it just a little if you want to. Keeping those knees soft, protect the back. At the next break, we're going to take it 90 degrees and up. Okay, start at 90 degrees, squeeze to the top, squeeze to the top. Now these are really going to burn because you're holding that isometric position at the 90 degree angle. So you should really feel those biceps wanting to pop out of the skin. Finish these out and then we'll go full range of motion alternating right and left. Almost there. One more. Good. Now let's go all the way down, all the way up. Right side, left side. Squeeze. This is the last cycle. So really burn them out, squeezing it at the top. And again, think about keeping those knees soft to protect that back. The core is really, really supportive. Navel in toward the spine. Let's get a couple more. One more. And all the way down. Put those weights down and shake it out.